did you know that it is an awful lot of work to write one of these games? Big surprise, I know. I have finished the Twisted Bayonet. Well, I've gotten it to a playable state. I'm not yet super happy with the PDF, but I have pushed it as far as I can go. In New Zealand time, it is the 28th of February right now, and I did say I wanted to finish this by the end of the month. So now I am delivering it in a playable state with a sizable portion of campaign for people to go through either solo or co-op. This is a skirmish scale system. It does go from about 5 models to 12 models max. Each game takes about 40 minutes to an hour and it runs off a 2x2 two two foot board. If you have a Turnip 28 Regiment, you will be able to field any one of your models in the game, depending on how you build your party, or in the game's language, your rabble. Your Toph will be the star of the show and they will mutate across the game, as will your followers. It's all up to you as you play. The links are in the description down below. You can go grab the system right now. The document is by no means final, it is still missing quite a few bits of art, and I am sure it could do with a pass or two just for the, uh, the editing. There are going to be two files in this release. You will have the core mod, which shows you how to play and how to build a rebel, and you have the expedition guide for the writhing fen, which is the first, um, let's call it a region. See, the expeditions in the Writhing Fen are area-specific. They work off Writhing Fen locations, they work off Writhing Fen monsters, and they work off Writhing Fen weather. So for each area that I write up for the system, it will have its own expedition guide. In the Writhing Fen, you can go out a total of three times. There's three jobs to be done in the Writhing Fen, and each one will take an expedition to do. Each expedition is three scenarios, three stages, and will take about an hour and a half, maybe three hours if you're playing long, maybe longer if you are playing the co-op mode. And yes, I have written up co-op rules. Those ones I could not play test, because as uh, try as I might, I cannot play cooperative with myself. So I am likely to take feedback or bother people about that in the future. For the solo system itself, there are three monster types in the expedition guide, and all of those monster types do have their own behavior roles, which you will find outlined on their respective pages. I've kept the count here low to make each type of a monster encounter a bit more in-depth, a bit more unique feeling. The monsters do mix and match with the stages, with the scenarios, and with the weather, so there can be quite a bit of variety in the nature of the jobs that you take between people. It depends on what you roll for the weather, what you roll for the monsters, etc. It will also scale a little bit, like if you've hit the third job, it will be a little bit harder, because the monsters do adjust depending on how experienced your rabble is. I have made a point to try and design something that is finite. This is something I want people to play and I want people to finish, so I made it very finishable. In terms of modeling, if you already have a regiment, you're probably just going to have to model the 12 or so new models for the monsters, or you could just do count sets if you're playing solo, nobody's going to yell at you for doing that. If I end up making like tutorial videos for this, I am going to make some uh, unique models for the monsters. So you can look forward to that. A lot of the design here has been informed by how Arkham Horror, the living card game, designs its co-op play. If you've played Arkham Horror, you'll know what I'm talking about. But yeah, that is it. That is a completely playable mod for the Twisted Bayonet in a roughly 30-page PDF plus a roughly 10-page, uh, basically a scenario module for actually getting the campaign in. It does need the Silver Bayonet to run. I have not put down any rules from the Silver Bayonet in there. I have only referred to the core book. It does not need you to read Turnip 28 per se, but I will encourage you to read Turnip 28 anyway, because I am nowhere near as good as Max is at setting the mood. In the future, the document will get a few uh, fluff passes as I put in more art and more uh, insert quotes. I'm not sure what you call them, because right now it's a little bit clinical. 
And that is it for now. I have tried to keep this short. Hopefully it has not gone on for 10 minutes. I am working on reviews and tutorials on the way, still waiting on the Five Leagues release. I might do Forbidden Psalm. I might just do a tutorial for Forbidden Psalm. And we've also got the one page rules systems to get back to. For now, this is Cement Sal. For March, you can look forward to uh, me finishing the regiment on the channel. Maybe a review, maybe some tutorials. For now, if you are interested, please do consider playing the Twisted Bayonet. Links are in the description. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. Hey, and welcome to the end of the video. I would just like to shout out my patrons in the Laser Cultist tier. That is Brandon Fraley. Gregory Gonzalez, John Hammer, Old Paw, and Russell Brown. Thank you guys as usual. That was a lot of work. I do hope people try it out. I myself, I am off to play some Elden Ring.